Hello everyone and welcome to another Saint Spotlight video. It is January 4th and today we are honoring the first American Saint, Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton, also the patron saint of Catholic schools. So just a little bit about Elizabeth's life. She was born in 1774, two years before the Declaration of Independence, and she was born into a pretty wealthy family. She was actually raised Episcopalian, um, a different Christian denomination, which meant that even though she wasn't Catholic, she still did have a very deep-seated root of the importance of prayer and scripture growing up. Soon, when she was 19, she married William Seton, and they decided to live together in Wall Street. A few years later, they actually moved to Italy, and unfortunately, nine years after they were married, William died of tuberculosis. Because of this, Elizabeth needed a way to provide for her family, so a temporary solution was that her and her oldest daughter went to go live with William's business partners. It was through these business partners and through the scene of Italy where she was introduced to Catholicism and was eventually welcomed into the church. However, there still lay the problem, how will Elizabeth provide for her family? So they decided to move back to the US where she established the first parish school. It's called St. Joseph's Academy and Free School, which kicked off the parochial school model that we currently have in the US. Throughout, this, throughout her life, she continued this work, founding many other organizations before ultimately her death in 1821. So I just wanted to provide two takeaways for Elizabeth Ann Seton's life. So first, even though Elizabeth Ann Seton is the patron saint of Catholic schools and dedicated her life and her mission to creating academies that help educate kids in the Catholic faith, this should not be the end-all be-all in our catechesis. A Catholic school model, or even our RE model at Holy Spirit, is really important for that catechesis of things like what is a sacrament or what role does Mary have in our life. However, education is a lifelong process and a long continual process that does begin in the family. Our RE model is based off of this. We have 12 sessions and then some family events that invite families to contemplate their faith outside of the classroom. Ultimately, our faith shouldn't be reduced to something like a textbook or a test. It should be something that we live out in our daily lives. And so I invite you to have your kids ask questions, um, any sort of question they have. And if you don't know the answer to it, seek help as well. There is so much to learn about the faith that, I mean, even there wouldn't even be enough time in a classroom to learn about the faith. Um, but education in faith is not just the information, but it's also, also your spiritual formation as well. And second, Elizabeth Ann Seton is, as mentioned before, our first American saint. She established the first American parish school, she established the first American orphanage, and the first American religious community called the Sisters of Charity of St. Joseph. And she was able to do all of this, even though she lived in Italy for a period of time, she was able to do this from her own backyard. There is kind of this assumption in our faith that in order to be a saint, we have to go travel to the poorest of country or to go serve in some faraway land or to radically move and to radically change our lives. The work that Elizabeth Ann Seton did was wonderful and she was able to do it in America. She was able to do it in where she lived. And so there are so many opportunities to become a saint, um, even when it doesn't really feel that way sometimes. And you don't really have to be anyone else and you don't really have to go anywhere else to do it. So I invite you to think about the organizations that you are a part of. There are a lot more than you think, um, whether it's your parish, whether it's your school, whether it's your family, different organizations, big and small, and I want you to think about how you can be a saint in each of those organizations. We have an opportunity to be a saint in all of the organizations we're a part of, even if the role is unique in each of them. So I invite you to take that as Elizabeth Ann Seton's message today. Thank you for listening.